actually really get sick or injured or have actually just have time off from the gym, you realize how, how lucky you are to be, even be able to train. That's my mentality right now. Even the days I don't want to go, I go because it makes me feel better. Hey, what is up guys? Frank McGrath here, IFBB Pro. Another video from IFBB AMA. Today, I'm doing something a little different. Usually I answer questions from you guys or I do workout videos, stuff like that. But today I'm gonna give you, um, let you guys know what I'm up to right now. Anybody who follows me on um, social media knows that I've been dealing with some health issues and uh, you know, have, I've had a lot of time away from the gym. And um, you know, that's hard for all of us who are really, you know, been training our whole lives. So it's hard to uh, take a step back and take time off when you need it. No matter if it's like personal injuries, uh, illness, whatever, it, it still sucks. You know what I mean? People say to me like, you know, Frank, it's you needed it and uh, you know, you can't control it, but it doesn't matter how, it still makes me feel like shit. You know what I mean? Taking time off from the gym. So anyway, my whole point of this video today is now that things are going uh, a lot better, I have my home dialysis, so I do my dialysis at home, I don't go to hospital no more. Uh, my health has actually been very good, my appetite's very good, training, back training, feeling good, energy's good. So I've decided, you know, to do a little transformation, take you guys along with me, take you through some of my workouts, some of my meal plans, the way I eat right now. Um, you know, it's not like a competition diet, I'm not trying to get like ultra shredded or even ultra fucking huge more just in shape and still jacked and still look like I'm doing something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not that I'm in bad shape now, I'm, I'm weighing about 235 right now. The okay shape, but let's say this is my third week back in the gym. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys some updated pics of how I look. As hard as it is for me sometimes when you're not looking your best, it's hard to show your physique, but a uh, part of it will help me keep me accountable you know, to all you guys and uh, to make sure I'm still keeping up with it because when you're getting ready for a show, it's kind of like you have a deadline. You're kind of forced to do it. Not forced to do it, but it's like you have more urgency to get it done. So when you're not, you don't have a competition or, or an, end, an end goal, it's kind of like, ah, oh, I can fuck off today. I can eat donuts today. I can miss my cardio, I can miss my training, whatever. And I've done that over the years too when I wasn't like competing or doing something. But um, once you actually really get sick or injured or have, have actually just have time off from the gym, you realize how, how lucky you are to be, even be able to train. That's my mentality right now. Even the days I don't want to go, I go because it makes me feel better. I'm in a better mood. I'm more productive. I get things done. Like I said, I'm sitting around 235. I'm going to show you guys my progress. Maybe it can help some of you guys too. You know, when you get to a dark place, um, it can push you to... Nothing's more motivating than rock bottom. And I definitely feel like I was probably one of my lowest moments. Uh, a couple months ago, like I had uh, a whole month where I couldn't sleep. My stomach was off. I caught a virus. I was sick stomach throwing up, you name it. Then I got a kidney infection, you know, injuries, personal life. All that stuff played a factor. Stress, like unbelievable stress can really um, affect your, your physical body. You know what I mean? People don't realize that, so. Whole point being, guys, is that um, this is gonna be fun, and uh, you know my birthday's coming up soon, so I gotta like two and a half weeks before my birthday. Do my best to see how good I can look even by then. Then we have our first Wrath Performance Booth in Texas, um, August 19th. Super excited about that, and plus I want to represent my own company and myself in the best way I can. Very excited about that. We're gonna take you along for that trip too. And that Texas trip, we're gonna to take you guys along and show you behind the scenes. Like I said, I was kind of scared to do this at first because once you put it out there on the internet, you kind of gotta do it, you know what I mean? So I advise anybody else to do the same thing. Have yourself accountable to somebody, you know what I mean? Or, or some different people. Somebody you have to answer to because when, it's, when you do it to your, by yourself sometimes, it can be, you can fuck off a little bit and kind of like half-ass it. I don't want to do that no more. I've done enough and um, now I have you guys to answer to, so let's get this started. Today's a day, rest day, which could do cardio today, get our meals in. But for now, guys, until the next video, peace out. Okay, guys, what's up? Um, if you saw the first part of my video, <clears throat> I talked about kind of like my comeback and just get back, you know, living that bodybuilder lifestyle that I love to do. Um, the eating, the training, all that stuff, guys, and plus all the work I have to do. So I think I want to keep you guys updated. Today is july 25th it is the third week of me back training things are going great uh when i started this uh i wasn't training at all i was pretty sick so i went down to 220 pounds at one point so i'm gonna show you guys my weight right now 
um, to show you where I'm at right now with my weight. Um, so, all right, let's go and get some weight. 237.9. Talk about what I'm doing right now. I'm only eating four meals a day. I'm gonna up it to five pretty soon, but I'm just adjusting my, my appetite and my stomach and everything. For a while there, when I was sick, I wasn't really eating anything at all. And sometimes I'd eat once or twice a day, so I'm doing fairly well right now, but I'd like to get up to five. So that is the next step. I am doing cardio. I'm not doing fasted cardio right now. I just do cardio when I actually feel like it. Sometimes I'll do it after my workout. Even other times I'll just go outside and go for a walk uh, or do something physical outside instead of like just the boring treadmill stuff. Today was the first day I did stairs. And I've only done stairs when I was getting ready for competitions, but it was definitely challenging. I did 10 minutes and my legs were fucked because I just weren't used to it. Every day it will get better and I'm excited to make progress because guys, you gotta remember, it's, uh, you know, people say this all the time, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey getting there and appreciating it. All the steps you're making every day to get stronger, more rest, better workouts. My end goal is really not to be 260 pounds again, even if that happens, that's fine. I'm just going wherever my body takes me right now. The weight's not as important, but I do like to see the weight go up. I do like to be heavier. But that's it for today, guys. Next, I think I'm gonna show you guys some of my meals. Like I said, I'm only eating four meals a day right now. I'm gonna show you what those meals consist of. Right now, it's a lot of chicken, eggs uh and i have steak every few days so that's pretty much the primary and and rice cream of rice that's all i'm really eating right now not much more besides that besides like the veggies and stuff i got some cucumber onions uh peppers um of course the himalayan pink salt guys if you don't if you're not taking himalayan pink salt guys what are you doing because that is how you get the pump uh they're not competition meals they're more like a lifestyle kind of meals to get in shape and you know, build muscle, burn fat, but not competition shape. About 238 today, gained about 18 pounds already, just me four times a day and trained for three weeks. So I gotta say it's going good, but I'm not satisfied. I'm happy with the progress, but uh, I'm sure you guys too, you wanna get there faster and, and better like right away. But uh, it's happening and I'm excited. So um, thank you guys for watching and until next time.